I built this AI front office system over several weeks and a medical clinic actually paid me $5,000 for it. And what's crazy is that since deploying this first system, we have delivered dozens more of these solutions to other healthcare practices. Now this wasn't just a basic chatbot or automation. This was a comprehensive AI front office that handled everything from phone calls to social media messages to website chats and even proactive outreach to any potential patients. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through exactly what this AI system does, why a medical clinic was actually willing to pay us $5,000 for it, what this means for anyone else trying to break into the AI automation space, and how you could start building and selling similar solutions today. So what exactly did this AI front office system do? Well, you can imagine just walking into a medical clinic and every single patient interaction, whether it was a phone call at 2 a.m. or a Facebook message just asking about simple services or someone chatting on the website or a person who just filled out a contact form. Imagine all of that being handled by an intelligent AI system that sounds completely natural and knows exactly how to help each patient. And that is what we built out. So the system, it was essentially just a 24 seven virtual front desk that was able to answer any incoming phone calls with a natural sounding AI voice. It was able to respond to messages on Facebook and Instagram and other social platforms. On top of that, it was able to handle any website chat conversations in real time, automatically call people who filled out forms within minutes, you know, whether they were generated from ads or whatever. Beyond that, it was answering questions about services, insurance, pricing and availability, booking appointments directly into the client's scheduling system, qualifying leads and gathering patient information, and even transferring complex cases to any human staff when it was necessary. So the system, it was integrated with their existing phone system, their website, their social media accounts, and practice management software. And it wasn't just about responding to the inquiries that were coming in. It was actually actively engaging with potential patients and nurturing them through the process and converting them into booked appointments into their practice management systems. And you can see here that this is way more complex than you might expect. So we're talking about voice AI and natural language processing, CRM integrations, appointment scheduling APIs, multi-channel communication handling, you know, stuff that would have seemed like science fiction just a few years ago. Really quick before we dive into the build and how we actually sold this and how you can be selling similar solutions, I will be sharing this entire template and framework in my free community where you can get access to all of the templates and everything else. Link is down below in the description. We now have close to 12,000 members and it's really just a place to meet other AI enthusiasts, entrepreneurs, business owners, whatever. You can ask me questions directly. You can join competitions with rewards and much, much more. So again, the link is down below in the description. We'd really love to have you guys in there. Now, how did I actually get a medical clinic to pay me $5,000 for the system? Well, at the time I was creating content and sharing pretty much everything that I was building online. But what I was doing differently this time to actually get this client I position myself more as someone who specializes in healthcare automation solutions. So what I and my team decided to do is focus on AI voice solutions. And within just one week of targeting a particular niche, obviously healthcare and creating content about it, a medical clinic actually reached out and paid me $5,000 for a front office system. Now the actual build, this did take about several weeks to build out. But the point is when you find the right niche and you do position yourself correctly, clients will find you just like they did for me on YouTube. So I had been posting, you know, case studies and posting any tutorials and behind the scenes content about different AI systems for really various industries. And one of my videos was specifically about appointment scheduling automation for service businesses. And it actually ended up getting the attention of a practice manager at a busy medical clinic. So we actually reached out after finding my YouTube demo. He clicked on one of those links that we have in our descriptions to schedule a discovery call. And during that call, he just painted a picture of their current pain points. You know, they were ultimately just missing calls because staff was busy with patients, social media messages, they were going unanswered for hours, potential patients, they were filling out forms on their website, but they were not getting immediate follow-up, especially with the ads that they were, you know, running themselves. They were spending about $3,000 a month on ads where somebody would fill out a form and then just not get a response for a while. On top of that, their front desk staff was ultimately overwhelmed just trying to juggle phone calls or walk-ins and administrative tasks that they were also signed with, which just meant that we didn't have to adhere as strictly to compliance regulations like we would have in the United States, such as HIPAA. And honestly, this is exactly why we do not recommend healthcare as much to our students who are building out AI businesses, because achieving true HIPAA compliancy, it's incredibly expensive and it's complex and it's just not as easy as some gurus online that you might be seeing try to make it out to be. So if you're actually trying to properly be compliant, it 
will be expensive and you will run into some roadblocks. But in any case, what really made the difference is that I wasn't immediately just trying to jump to building a solution. With this client that we closed, like we actually spent some time just understanding their specific workflows, like their patient demographics, their busiest times that they experience, their most common inquiries and exactly, you know, how much revenue that they were losing from missed opportunities. This is what we focused on. And we discovered that they were potentially losing about 15 to 20 new patients per month just from missed calls and delayed responses. And in their specialty, each new patient was worth about $500 in the first year revenue. So we were actually talking about anything from $7,500 to $10,000 in lost monthly revenue just from communication gaps. And when I presented this solution and the $5,000 price tag, it was essentially just positioned as a system that will pay for itself in the first month just by capturing the patients that they were previously losing on. And the return, it was actually so clear for them that it was a no brainer. And now knowing what we know now about pricing and how to actually structure deals, we in hindsight should have probably charged upwards of 7,500 minimum. Now you might be thinking to yourself, okay, weeks of work for $5,000, that doesn't sound like an amazing hourly rate, but here's the thing. They weren't paying me for my time. They were just paying me for the outcome and the ongoing value of the system that would be provided. So let me just go ahead and break down the value that this system was actually delivering. So one, it eliminated the need to hire additional front desk staff. So they in turn were saving about $3,000 plus per month in salary and benefits. Number two is it was able to capture leads 24 seven, including after hours and weekends when competitors phones were typically goes to voicemail. Number three is it was providing instant response times, which had significantly improved their patient satisfaction scores. Number four, it freed up their human staff to focus on in-person patient care instead of any administrative tasks. It standardized responses to common questions, ensuring consistent and accurate information every single time. And it also collected detailed patient information all up front so that making the actual appointments were more efficient. Now, when you look at it this way, the system was easily worth 10 to 20 times what they paid for in the first year alone. And unlike hiring any staff, this was just a one-time investment with minimal ongoing costs, you know, just the API usage fees and monthly software subscriptions. But here is what really made the system valuable is that the system actually got smarter over time. So every interaction, it taught it something new about common questions, edge cases, and better ways to handle patient inquiries. So the value actually increased month after month. Now, the reason that I am sharing this story is because I know many of you are building AI solutions, but you are just struggling to command premium prices for your work. And this is just clear proof that when you solve real and expensive problems for businesses, they will be willing to pay accordingly for that. And what this means for you is that you do not need to be a coding genius or have a CS degree. You just need to understand business problems deeply. You need to know how to connect different AI tools and APIs. You should also know how to be able to demonstrate clear return on investments and build systems that actually work reliably. In the healthcare industry, this is particularly ripe for AI automation because they have standardized processes and they have high value transactions and massive inefficiencies in their patient communication. But the same principles, these apply to legal firms and real estate agencies and home service companies and really dozens of other industries, you name it. And since delivering that first system, we have built out similar solutions for dental practices, handling appointment scheduling and patient reminders, and even physical therapy clinics, managing initial consultations and insurance verification. We have specialty medical practices we've worked with doing patient intake and follow-up care coordination and, you know, even urgent care centers, just handling after hours inquiries and all the triage that comes along with it. And each one of these systems we've sold from anywhere from a few thousand dollars to $8,000. It really depended on the complexity and the value that we were demonstrating on top of a monthly retainer, which varied from about $500 to $1,000 per month. Now, if I were starting over tomorrow with no audience, no previous clients, here's my exact seven day blueprint for landing your first high value AI client. So days one through two, choose your niche and research deep. So just pick one specific industry, whether that's healthcare, real estate, whatever interests you, but go deep within it. Consider things that you have connections within. So do you have business owners or friends who are business owners? Maybe they own a real estate agency or they're at least a key decision maker, or at the very least, they understand the key bottlenecks that are preventing their company from growing. 
So consider these niches. I just spent about a day or two in Facebook group forums and industry publications, just understanding their specific pain points. So don't just research AI solutions. You have to actually research their business problems. Days three through four, I would start direct outreach. So don't worry about content. That's where most people just get it wrong. They think that they need to build a massive following before anyone will be paying them. And that's just backwards thinking. And I have so many people have come to me just thinking that they have to have a YouTube channel like me. Content is a long-term play and it will and can take months to get clients through organically. And what I recommend instead is just focus entirely on direct outreach. So find out where your niche actually spends their time and research and reach out to them directly. So for real estate agents, maybe that's LinkedIn or cold email for let's say event planners, you can consider Instagram and Facebook and for SaaS companies, maybe it's Twitter that you should consider to reach out to them on. So just really research where your target audience actually hangs out and meet them there. Then just start reaching out to maybe 50 to 100 prospects with personalized messages. I wouldn't put a limit on how much you're actually sending. And additionally, I would not pitch them immediately. If you have zero experience working with anybody, zero results, don't pitch them all immediately. Just ask about their current challenges or offer to share a quick insight about their industry that they may not already know about. So really the goal is to start conversations, not to sell them. Eventually, once you do have these conversations with these people and you're understanding their pain points, you can mention that you would be building some things out for them for completely free. And in return, you would just be getting a testimonial or some sort of case study. You know, we're really looking just for some social proof. Now days five through six, this is all about scaling your outreach and building conversations. So just continue to reach out to these prospects every single day, track it, put it on a Google Sheets and track the metrics and the KPIs they're trying to hit. Like if you're reaching out to 100 people per day, you know, maybe you're trying to get five responses or maybe like a 20% reply rate, whatever it may be. So one, in these particular days, you should be following up with the people who responded and you know try to schedule calls with the interested prospects and just keep refining your outreach messages just based on what you are actually getting responses to. So if you are noticing you're getting better and hitting KPIs from a particular stimuli that you are including, like a particular intro message that's working well for you, then continue with it beyond that. You will also want to start building a simple prototype or demo that you can actually show prospects of what you have built out and how it solves their problem. And this could also be for content. So you could be posting this on YouTube or wherever else, but you know, you're going to be using this demo as a conversation starter during your calls. So it gives you something tangible to demonstrate and makes your outreach conversations just much more credible. And then on day seven, this is all going to be about following up and closing. So by now you should have several conversations going and maybe a few discovery calls scheduled. And this is where you will have to follow up with your most engaged prospects and just present your solution. So do not wait for people to find you because that's not how it works. And unless you've been posting content for months or years and you're consistent with it, you're just not going to have that consistent stream of leads or you know prospects coming in. So instead, if you have been following my directions, you've been actively building relationships all through you know, direct outreach. And the key lesson here that I would like for you to get out of watching this video is that specialists, they get paid more than generalists. And direct outreach, this really lets you position yourself as a specialist immediately. So when I was the AI automation guy, I was competing with thousands of people online and I still kind of am. But when I became the AI voice solutions expert for healthcare practices and starting to post more videos on this, and also reaching out directly to healthcare practices, I became one of maybe 10 people that they could find who understand or understood their specific needs. Now really quick before we get into the pricing and bottom line section, I just wanted to mention that if you are looking for help doing all of this and really just a way to speed up your learning process of running your own AI business, then we are taking on just two more people to work one-on-one -on -one with myself and my team where we will literally handhold you to starting and growing your AI business and teaching you everything from A to Z, whether that is, you know, sourcing how to actually find clients or how to build out everything and build relevant solutions for your audience and much, much more. So we do guarantee you that you will close clients within 90 days. And if you do not, we offer a full refund, but just to preface, this is not for everybody and it's not needed to be successful. It's just going to be a way to help those who have actually been asking for this sort of thing and wants to learn everything that we have been doing since we have started our agency, you know, a couple of years ago and really giving you the best frameworks for success 
to build your business even faster. So again, like we are very selective about who we work with because it is one-on-one -on -one and we are hand-holding you. So again, that's why we only take on about two people at a time. And the link is actually down below if you are interested in applying. But again, like you do not need to pursue this or join that mentorship to be successful. It's not needed. In any case, let's move on to the next section, which is going to be covering the bottom line on pricing and ROI. So here's what I've learned about pricing AI solutions is that business owners, they do not care about the technology or how many APIs you're connecting. They just care about the results. And if you can actually show that your system will be saving them $10,000 a month in staffing costs, all while capturing an additional, let's say $15,000 in revenue from better lead conversions, then charging $5,000 upfront plus $500 monthly maintenance, it's going to become a complete no brainer. And I mean, you can imagine why. So the key is really just getting good at quantifying the value that you are providing, that your systems are providing. So for that medical clinic, we track the number of missed calls before versus after implementation. And then the response time to social media inquiries and conversion rate from website visitors to booked appointments or staff time savings on any administrative tasks and the patient satisfaction scores for the communication. And since that first deployment, we have refined our approach with all of this and we've built template systems for any common use cases. And we can now deliver similar solutions much, much faster. But the core principle, it remains the same. And that is just to solve expensive problems for businesses that can actually afford to pay for solutions and the price based on the value that you deliver, not the time that you're spending on it. So if you are building AI solutions, and struggling to get paid for what you are worth, just focus less on the technology and more on the business outcomes. So you have to be finding businesses that are losing money due to communication inefficiencies and show them exactly how much it's costing them and position your solution as an investment that actually pays for itself. And when you can actually show concrete improvements and the metrics that directly impact their bottom line, well, pricing, it should come off as a non-issue for them. Now, the demand for these systems, it's absolutely massive and we are still in the early days and most small businesses, they still have no idea that this technology exists or the ones that do, they don't know how it could transform their operations. Now, if you can bridge that gap and become the person who helps them actually implement AI solutions that actually move the needle for them, you will never struggle to find clients willing to pay you premium prices. So if you are ready to start building and selling AI systems that do command real money, just pick an industry, dive deep into their problems and create content to showcase your expertise. But just most importantly, start reaching out directly to prospects within that given niche. And the combination of this content and outreach, it will compound and you will get results. So again, like this opportunity, it's absolutely massive. And honestly, we are just getting started. And if you do want to see more content about building and selling high value AI solutions, just let me know down in the comments. I'd really love to hear you guys' feedback. I'd love to share more about, you know, behind the scenes details about how we have and how we are scaling this agency, this company through dozens of deployments and giving you guys the exact frameworks that we use for pricing and positioning these systems. But in any case, if you enjoy this video, please like, subscribe, and check out my previous content. Drop in the comment if you enjoyed this video as well. Really appreciate any feedback, any critiques, of course, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.